Hey gang, I'm Izzy Noodles, and I am playing the next instalment of Crystal Skulls, which is very different to the first. It's a bit more challenging, and it's got a very different feel. It's not as uh, it's not got the Chinese feel the last one did, but I have enjoyed it so much. So, firstly, we start off in the water. If we go to the right, we've got this little tunnel, and in here is our very first secret. Also in here we've got a small med pack and some shotgun shells. Okay. And also oh I'm stuck in the bushes. <laughs> On the other side we've got these flares and another gap here. Inside here there is a lever the lever because there's a lot of uh, dead ends at the moment so that's up on the beach area let me quickly get some air oh my goodness should have got some air a bit faster I think I'm gonna die don't know what maybe didn't get air Whew, okay I don't know why I didn't get air but straight ahead, you can see that kind of hole in the cave. We have just opened that up. That's what the lever did. Um, so in the water, there's a lot of blocked off places and we can go on to the beach. There's a few blocked off places there. Um, if we head towards the gate we've just opened, use this rock right in the center here as kind of a, a landmark, just this little raised block. It's easy to get lost here. There's a lot of little windy paths. You've got this little tiny gap and inside we've got some shotgun shells and yet another secret so whoop, it's crazy crazy stuff going on there uh, so you can see straight in front of Lara you see you've got some little passages you can explore but there isn't very much to do yet there's a couple of items you can pick up but I won't do that yet I'm going to go this way to get onto the beach. So climb out just here and grab your guns because you've got a parrot here. Okay, deal with him. And th there's actually a new move which um, I couldn't figure out how to do it, but I had a quick look and I think you press this. Yeah, do that. You press the sprint button while standing still. That's pretty epic. So anyway, uh, you shoot that pot, you've got some shotgun shells. Uh, also, I forgot to... Oh, there we go, there it is. <laughs> forgot to mention, like, when you come out of the water, you've got this structure here. And straight across there, you've got a cave, which I won't go over there just yet. You can't actually do anything there yet. And you've got these wooden spikes here so you can you can get rid of them later on and go down into that area but for now so you've got them shotgun shells over there you've got these arrows here so that's a hint we will get a crossbow got that area blocked off so come further round and if we just turn around here you'll notice that up there that kind of gong or a bell uh, so that's a hint we're going to have to need a laser sight in a bit. Also in this area you've got a small med pack. And right here, here, right here you're going to want to walk because there's a lot of slopes here. So it's very easy to fall into the water and have to come all the way back to the shore. So I am going to save just for that reason. Kind of annoying to have to swim all the way round again. So you're going to do a running jump to here. So here we are, that's the cave we've opened and you can see in the water, that's where we got our second secret. And like I said, there's a lot of slopes, uh, but you can stand on that sort of triangular patch straight in front of Lara. So you can stand here and just try and jump into the cave. No, oh no. Well, you see, that's why I saved. <laughs> Try again, it, it is tricky. There we go. So you don't need to shoot that part, there's nothing in that part. So crawl on in. 
On the right hand, no, on the left hand side, you've got a passage there, but it's blocked off at the moment. So we need to open it up. So come up here, you've got an annoying slope, and her feet get stuck very easily in this game. So there'll be a lot of moving around, but you want to try and jump into here. And if you were exploring around in the sea, in the water, you may have come across this area and seen this already. So we can't get that for now, but this lever will open up the passage that we want to get to. And there are bats, and there's not very much space <laughs> to jump around. So there we go, I got him. So it is difficult to <laughs> shoot them bats. So as I've said, I think I said it, that lever has opened up that passage. So now we can go straight down there. I'm going to save again because there is a lot of rocks and it's difficult to get through. So anyway, these spikes are a lot more forgiving than Waterfall Valley. You've got a slope here you need to jump up. And right here you do have a snake. Difficult to see and she is not shooting that snake. It's a big problem just here. It is difficult. Turn. So you need to kind of crawl forward to get the snake to notice you, to stick his head up. And now you can shoot it. Oh, surprised I've not been bit. I'm just a little bit far away from him, so that's good. So shoot that vase as well. That vase is in the way. This is, it is difficult to see anything at this corner. But it's alright. Did that pretty quick. So most of this is pretty simple. You are following paths. So you're climbing up, but when you get to random slopes like this, I do tend to think that there might just be a boulder trap. <laughs> so at the slope you want to jump a bit later because if you land too close to the edge the boulder will still hit Laura. So grab this, obviously breakaway floor tile. And you will take a little bit of damage. There we go. So now we can actually pick this up. Hmm. I'll need to get three more of these. So that's our first coin. She says three more, which means uh, we need four altogether, and we will place them in the structure, the monument structure on the beach. So come out of this area. We've got this small med pack. And somewhere around here, it is easy to get lost, so please forgive me if I'm wandering around for ages. We do have an item somewhere. Somewhere. Hmm. Oh, and this big area. you got a big area there with a current. Don't know what the point of that is. But it is just here what I'm looking for. You got these spikes, and I will save just in case something goes wrong. There's a med pack hiding in them spikes, but when you approach it, the spikes will deplete. So you want to be kind of fast, otherwise, if you just sit in hovering on the spikes, you will just die and they won't deplete. There you go. So just go up to it quickly, and you won't take off, uh, they won't take off as much health. So, from here we're going to pull that lever that we've just given access to. So to figure out where you are, right here, facing this way, was where we started. We had secret one in the gap down there. So just turn around, and there's this tiny gap here with this lever. So it doesn't show you what it does, unfortunately. So it's a case of having a look around, but I will tell you that Actually, I'll get some air first. <laughs> I will show you exactly what it did once I've got some air. Alright. So the next part can be tedious. So uh, that's where we pulled the lever there. And so just come around into this area. It opened a gate that was here. The gate will close behind you, and this can be confusing because if you keep swimming along, 
There's another closed gate, so what do you do? You find this air pocket. It's not very obvious, I kept missing it. This might be a good place to save. <laughs> okay, so when you've got your breath, pull the lever, because that will open the next gate that is right around the corner. You do have a fairly long passage here now, so try not to get stuck. It's incredibly easy. So just around this corner there are some flares. Pick them up very quickly, please. <laughs> very quickly. Long and windy passage. So yeah, it is easy to get stuck in the water on Tomb Raider games. So we've got this big structure here, this little building, big structure, little building, whatever. The <laughs> first thing you want to do is find this air pocket. So take a look around from here, you've got a hatch there, and you have a gate underwater there. We actually need to pull a lever to open that gate, to pull a lever to open the door of this little building. So firstly... Ooh, it's easy to get stuck. I'm gonna grab this med pack here. And this med pack by this skeleton. Then I'm gonna get some more air. Don't be afraid to keep going up and getting air. You don't wanna drown. So now I'm going to pull the first lever, which you may have already spotted when I came into here. It's on the side of the building here. Okay, so that's opened that gate. So now we can go and pull the other lever. Awesome. So we can see a pedestal there that's surrounded by spikes. So on the pedestal is our second coin that we need. And also be careful in that corner, because those are spikes. If you go anywhere near them, they'll take your health off you. Also I might save here. <laughs> I like saving. Nothing wrong with saving. So inside the building. Come to the left, there is this lever. So that gets rid of the spikes, but it also closes the door. So you just grab this. You want to be above it to grab, not in front of it. Also, you want to pull this lever on the other side of the door. So if you were wandering around in the, uh, the pa little passageways <laughs> in the water, you may have already seen that location, where that comes out at. So most of them are return paths. Okay, so now the hatch is open and we have access to this lever. This lever only opens that uh, hatch up the top the gate. Oh, and it does that. I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> so it does that and has opened. Where is it? <laughs> Over here. It's opened up this. Awesome. So the gate that we saw near the pole, we can't go through there yet because we still need to open another gate to continue along that path. So that's actually the, at the far end of the beach where I didn't go. So let's try and find our way back out. We're going back to the beach because we opened up a, another way where we can go on the beach. Okay. So right here, near where we got our shotgun shells and our arrows, right here is what opened up. So you got that crawl space. That is a return path, so you don't need to worry. You can stand on this. This is for a boulder trap. 
you need to jump up in order to open that wooden hatch you can just see there there is a jump switch right there that can do that so so also flip to the side so the boulder doesn't get you and also in the hole there are some arrows forgot what they were called for a moment arrows but where that boulder came from, we, that's, uh, there's actually a passage up there, and that is how we get to the next room. Okay. So you want to backflip on the slope at an angle. So there we go. So we can grab this small med pack here. You want to stand and jump here, but grab. You need to grab. If you did a running jump, or a half tile, whatever space there is there, you will still need to grab. Uh, come all the way to the right hand side, because it's slightly higher on this side, and just jump straight up and grab here. So around the corner there's a, a pretty nasty trap, where forced damage will be taken. So you can take a lot of damage, or quite a lot, but not so much. You want to be all the way to one side. I can't go any closer to that wall. And you may want to save if you want to practice or if you think you might go wrong, which, yeah, let's go for it. Let's save the game just because. So you've got a spike trap here. It's not so much spikes. It's more of a blade trap. So you want to flip out and then quickly jump up and grab this. So that was a lot of damage, but not as much as it could have been. So you do want to be all the way to one side for that one. You, if you uh, enter in the center, you won't be able to jump out because the spike just ruins her animation and she can't jump out very well. So that's why I said to be to one side. Also this is a long drop, so you want to do your best to not just flip out of it. <laughs> But grab and let go and brace yourself. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. And we're in a brand new room. This looks kind of awesome. This room actually reminds me of Beyond the Ski On. But I won't be exploring that room today, I'm afraid. I'm going to leave that for the next video. So I hope you've enjoyed part one of the Crystal Schools part two. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys.